Hello YouTube, in this video we are going to look at a MacBook Pro 2015 it's completely dead, it won't turn on the client said I believe it's a liquid spill there is no light coming off the charger as you can see so let's open it and find out What's going on? All right, so it's open and you can see the back cover with the dry liquid I believe is soda wine something like sticky alright and the board is a mess there is a captain tape next to the wireless card which tells me I'm not the first one in so can you see all this damaged area this is clearly a liquid um, damaged board um, the first thing we do is just disconnect the battery that's what I did and um, visually inspect any um, burned or damaged components um, just to isolate where is the damage is of course it can be anywhere but um, looking at an area where it has a corrosion um, and identify what are those components this is I think the easiest way to start um, so I'm going just to disconnect all the connector from the board um, and remove the board um, and inspect it alright so now the board is out we can inspect and look for a damaged area and what I mean by that is look at um, area where it has um, burned components um, or uh, corrosions anything that it shows more damage than other areas that's what we need to see um, to uh, minimize our troubleshooting for for this issue um, if it is just a liquid all over the places as I can see here um, and no no damage that you can I can see on any of the components then maybe there is a very good chance this board can be repaired by just cleaning it um, using the ultrasonic and cleaning the board so um, I'll put this also under the microscope and just you know look quickly and if I don't see anything probably will be will give it a shot um, to use the uh, ultrasonic all right as you can see we're looking at the board right now to confirm if there is any 
area that we probably need a repair. Of course, um, we have to measure voltage, we have to look at uh, uh, what if there is any um, uh, of course we have to measure voltage and do all those kind of things but this is like a layer one of inspection um, if I don't see anything damage physically honestly um, and it's a liquid spill I just use the ultrasonic first I clean the board and then the chance of of it working is very high if there is any damage component I fix it first and then clean the board as well so all right so it looks it looks there is no significant damage other than the liquid all over the components I don't see burn or corrosions um, so I think we will give it a shot and use the ultrasonic all right so now we'll take the board to the ultrasonic machine so I'm carrying the camera with one hand and the board with another hand so um, set up the ultrasonic machine for 60 degree and I set this for um, four minutes one minute on each, each side uh, there is a full video in the description um, about the ultrasonic how to use it what to use um, if you are interested yes I'll put the link down in the description I this video is not to show you how to use the ultrasonic it is just to show the impact of using an ultrasonic cleaner on a liquid spill uh, Mac alright so we cleaned uh, the board dried it as I said there is a full video on how to use the ultrasonic and um, the impact of cleaning a board with an ultrasonic machine um, in the description if you are interested just look it up um, I'll leave the link there alright so let's put this board back and see if the ultrasonic cleaning um, give it a positive result After connecting all the major components, um, we will go ahead and uh, connect the AC adapter. And here we go, our green light. And then it's there. So that's a very good sign. I'll uh, turn it on and see. yep and here you go so you see the folder um, logo uh, you know I'm going to connect the uh, solid state drive and see if it's gonna boot fast or to the operating system We should see the Apple logo at that point when the whole drive is connected. Just making sure before I put everything back. I have seen cases where it boot, it, it won't boot to the SSD after a liquid spill. So, just want to make sure that it can. All right.
right, so here you go. So I think we're good. Um, this repair has been completed and all what we had to do is just use uh, the right tool and in this scenario was the ultrasonic and uh, was no need for us to remove or replace any component on the board. I hope this video was informative. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can leave it in the comment section. Again, like and subscribe for more content. We'll try to upload more board repairs and component level uh, repair.